Hey, what's going on? It's the side new 190. So, some things I was watching earlier on uh, TV kind of hit me and I wanted to discuss a little bit. So, I don't know, maybe it's just like a reoccurring theme, but I was watching a couple shows with my wife and uh, it was really on like depression and uh, just individuals feeling that they're alone in life and alone in the world. And I don't know, I wanted to, to kind of talk about it. And I usually talk about, you know, ways to be successful in life and the things that you got to do. Well, I mean, obviously the first thing to be successful in life, is you got to be alive, right? You have to be here. You have to go ahead and know that you're worth something more than you believe that you're worth. And you have to be the one that takes that on and changes the mindset that you, that you have. Uh, if you're depressed, look, there's ways to get out of depression. Okay. Yes, it is. It is something that happens. Uh, if you're, you know, having thoughts of suicide and you're having thoughts of these different things, there are ways out of that also. And, the, and, and I'm not talking about the way out is to go ahead and go through with it. That's not the way out of it. The way out of it is the way out of thinking that way and thinking that those are the only ways that will solve the situation or solve the problem that you're going through currently. Because those aren't. That's not the reality of it. The reality is that doesn't do a damn thing. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't care what you think. Uh, that's my. This is my personal opinion. Um, taking your life doesn't solve any problem. It might solve your problem that you have, but you just created other problems overall. And although you think it created, you know, it solved your problem, it, it might not actually solve solve the problem. It might make things worse. Now, are you going to be here for it? Absolutely not, because you you did that. But at the end of the day, you don't know what your life. You don't know what is in the future for your life. So to prematurely give up on it and to prematurely go ahead and do something like that uh, is, is the wrong, wrong thing. It's, it's absolutely the wrong thing. And I say that from experience. I say that from you know, having such thoughts, uh, having you know, depression and thinking that you know, that was going to be the, the way to solve all of my problems. Well, it wasn't the way to solve all my problems. And I didn't know what the future held for me. And I didn't know that, you know what? seven, eight years later after these, these issues that I was having going on, that my life would be freaking amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I can't complain at all, even with the baggage that I still have in my life. I can't complain. I love it. I love it. But I couldn't tell that seven, eight years ago. I couldn't. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of talk about that tonight. And you know, what are you living for? You should be living for you. You should be living for you. You should be able to look yourself in that mirror and, and, Put aside, put away all the things that are going on and the issues and the circumstances and all that stuff. You should be living for you. You should be living to the fullest for yourself, right? For yourself. Not everyone else around you. Not everyone that you know is in your life. Or the, the, the family and the friends and, and the coworkers and all that bull crap. You should be living for you. You should be living because you don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know what five years from now bring. You don't know what ten years from now will bring to your life. You could be literally on, you know, debt's doorstep, right? And being financially broke and, you know, bankruptcy and all this different stuff. And 10 years from then, you could be a millionaire. You have no idea. We, nobody knows. Nobody can tell the future. We can't do that. If we could, then you know what? Things would be a lot damn different, right? So you can't. You can't do that. And that's one of the things that I thought, you know, well, well it's not going to get any better. It's just not going to get any better. It can't get better, can it? And, and I had no, like, honest way to even evaluate if they were or were not going to get better. It was just what I was thinking, right? It was the mindset that I had overall at the time things were going on. When everything was finally stacked up against me and I was at the bottom of the barrel, that's what I thought was going to happen. Or that's what I thought was going to be my future, right? The same crap. Well, today sucks, so tomorrow is going to suck. And tomorrow is going to suck, so five years from now. Shut up, all right? I wish, I wish, I wish somebody would have just told me to shut the hell up, all right? You don't know what is going to be you know, the future for you at the moment that I was going through it. Now I had people afterwards tell me to shut up and I appreciate those individuals, uh, whether they know it or not. And I appreciate the, the therapy that I went through to get back on track and realize that at the end of the day, like I have to live for myself and I have to care about myself more than I care about anyone else in the world. Because if I'm not doing that, I'm not taking care of myself. I can't take care of anyone else. I can't be the best husband if I'm not the best individual overall. I can't be the best father if I'm not the best individual overall. I can't be the best you know, worker or, you know, leader or whatever it is, if I'm not doing what is necessary to take care of myself first. So at the end of the day, you need to be living for yourself. You need to be living to the fullest. You can get out of depression. You can change your mindset. You might have these thoughts and these feelings and all this different stuff that's going on because of all the different things that are going on around you. And you can change that, right? It takes 
you to do it though. It takes you. All right, the stuff that I was watching tonight, you know, I was watching. I got it. Some of it's TV, and you know, some storyline, uh, but it it it's frustrating now. It's frustrating for me now to be able to look back and see what an idiot that I was being at the time. Yeah, did life suck? Absolutely. But if I would have known now what I knew then, right? And it sucks because you know that's that's never the reality of it. We don't know what we know now then. Okay, we don't make the decisions now what was off of then or, you know, those aren't, that's not just how it happens. But what I do know now is you should be living for yourself. Your life is worth something. Your life is worth more than you will ever know. Your life is worth so much more. You could be the next big thing. You could be the, the happiest man or woman alive and still have nothing to your name. You can be all kinds of different things. Your life can be all kinds of different things, but it has to be you that makes those decisions and it has to be you that makes the changes in your life to make the necessary adjustments to where it is that. But if you don't do that, guess what? Yes, right. if you continue to think that tomorrow's gonna suck because today sucked, well, that's gonna be your reality. It's on you to change that. Live for yourself. So I just wanted to take those, you know, what are it, six and a half minutes, seven minutes to talk about that real quick. And to tell you, look, the only way you're ever going to be successful in life is if you live your life for yourself. You make the adjustments that are necessary and understand and know that you are worth something, whether you believe it or not, truly believe it or not. So I appreciate you watching the sign to 190. Tell my next video. See you then.